there's so much scrutiny right now of certain areas in education, you know, whether you're talking about critical race theory or whatever, that you have to think about your guardrails in really complicated ways because different school districts have different rules about those things. Oh, absolutely. And the good news is, kind of, and we've, we've tested it hard because obviously the last thing we want is some kid in some school district, you know, all of a sudden it looks like they're getting politically indoctrinated by the AI in some way and they take a screenshot and not a good look for anyone. And, and even more importantly, it's not good pedagogy. We test it hard to make sure it's not showing a, a political bias. I'll give an example. I had a reporter, uh, be, they were skeptical about this. So we went into Con, Conmigo and we took on the persona of someone who's very pro-gun control. And we, we told Conmigo, you know, I can't believe people still think the Second Amendment makes sense. There's all this gun violence. It, it, it's got to go away. 90% of American classrooms, half of that 90%, if you're in a blue state, the teacher will say, yes, I 100% agree with you. I can't believe that there's all these other people who want to keep it. And if you're in a red part of the country, they'd probably say, how dare you say that? This is such an important freedom and it keeps us from fighting off tyranny and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but Conmigo did neither of those. Conmigo says, look, before we go into the present, why do you think the founders included the Second Amendment? So it put it on me. It pushed mm -hmm. my critical thinking. And I said, oh, well, you know, that was right after our independence and Great Britain didn't want us to have arms. So we needed it then, but it makes no sense now. And, and Conmigo said, hey, yeah, I think you're generally right about wh wh why historians think we have the Second Amendment. But before we judge it, why do you think it's persisted? And so once again, it forced me to think in terms of critical thinking as opposed to, which we're seeing all too often, people in their own echo chambers mm -hmm. of other people saying, amen, yeah, those, that other half of the country is crazy, which is not constructive. You fast forward to this AI world, in some ways, this AI will make traditional workflows for teachers or traditional processes more efficient, but I think it's going to open up the aperture of what a teacher can do. Uh, you can um, imagine this world where we're about to teach the Underground Railroad and the teacher, and we have seen teachers do this in the past year, say, hey, we have a special guest and get, get uh, our AI simulation of Harry Tubman on the overhead projector. That's a really cool way to get kids immersed into a subject in ways that they wouldn't have um, before. Before you assign a paper, even before ChatGPT, God knows how the kids wrote that paper. They could have paid their friend, their sister. There's websites that'll do your paper for $5 an hour. Um, and then they'll submit and the teacher has no idea what happened. Uh, and all they see is the final output, they grade it. Now the students could do their essay with Conmigo. Conmigo would act as a coach. The, the student would do the work. But then when they submit it, Conmigo cannot just give the teacher the final output, but actually the whole process. We spent four hours on this. Here's the whole transcript of us working together. But if Bob goes to chat GPT or his older sister and copies and pastes it in, Conmigo tells the teacher, this is shady. Uh, I don't know where Bob got this essay from. So it, I think it'll mitigate fears that, and problems that existed well before AI. We've gotten very clear feedback from a lot of students, especially high school and college students, that especially these days, it's they feel very afraid to test out ideas. They, one, they, they might, they think people will judge them, think that they're not smart, or they might've said something the wrong way and people are gonna be offended. And so to be able to do it in a safe environment with the AI and oftentimes take both sides of an issue and test out arguments has given them a lot of confidence to then go in, into with real people and, and, and have those same conversations.